NASA marked two major milestones in the effort to develop the agency's first crewed X-plane in two decades, the all-electric X-57 Maxwell, which will fly to demonstrate the benefits of using distributed electric propulsion. At this point, throttle is idle, right motor area clear. Progress is being made in the vehicle's initial transformation into an electric aircraft, a phase of the project known as Mod 2. Engineers, for the first time, installed and tested both electric cruise motors with their propellers at the same time. Both motors stable at 400. The spin test verified that the motors and propellers operated as expected under significant amounts of power. These tests, performed at Scaled Composites in Mojave, California, precede delivery of the Mod 2 vehicle itself to NASA, where it will undergo verification, taxi tests, and ultimately flight tests. Back it in there, lift it up, he can drive out like the original plan, set it right back down like the original plan. While the Mod 2 vehicle continues to take shape, NASA's team lays the groundwork for the project's next phase, Mod 3. The Mod 3 wing was delivered by Empirical Systems Aerospace to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center, where it is undergoing weight and balance measurement, ground vibration testing, and wing loading tests to verify the wing specification. This wing won't fly for a couple years. We're integrating our electric system into the wing and then it will fly on our, on our X-57 aircraft um, in what we call the Mod 3 configuration. At the same time, we've got our Mod 2 integration happening where we've got the original low aspect ratio wing being integrated with our electric motors and battery system. And that's happening just down the street here and will be delivered to NASA in the next uh, few months.